Hello, this is Miss Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to discuss analysis of hydrates. Today's essential question, how is the formula of a hydrate determined? So I guess the first thing we need to know is what in the world is a hydrate? So a hydrate is in a molecule that absorbs water from the environment and the water molecules are part of its chemical formula. So the molecule combines chemically with water. All right, so an example of a hydrate would be like C, whoops, that's not gonna work, try that again. CuSO4 5H2O. Okay, so um, this is copper two sulfate, penta hydrate. So that means penta meaning five. So this copper two sulfate has five water molecules attached. So for every one molecule of copper two sulfate, we have five water molecules attached. Or for every one mole of copper two sulfate, we have five moles of water. Okay, so that's a hydrate. Um, the hydrated molecule can be heat, okay, that doesn't even make sense, can be heated to burn off the water, leaving what we call an anhydrous molecule. Anhydrous molecule means no water attached. So if we have that copper 2 sulfate with pentahydride, so we start with the Cu, SO4, 5H2O, we can heat it, which will burn off the water, or the water will evaporate, and what we'll be left with is CuSO4, and we call that anhydrous, okay, which means there's no water attached. The other way you could get rid of this water would be if you dissolved it, right? If you put this copper to sulfate in water, this is an ionic compound in this case, so you would end up with copper two plus ions, you would end up with SO4 two minus ions, and then you would end up with water molecules floating around, okay? So that's a hydrate. All right, on to analysis of a hydrate. So um, with analysis, well, let's go here. An unknown hydrate is written with an N in place of a number in front of the water. So in an unknown hydrate, we, it's not that we don't know the molecule. We don't know how many water molecules are attached. Okay, so here's this N I was talking about. So we have magnesium sulfate something hydrate. Okay, we don't know how many waters are attached, and that's the point of analysis of a hydrate. So the first thing you want to do is to determine the mass of water that has left the compound. So how do we do that? Um, well, in the lab, the first thing you, in the laboratory, the first thing you would do is you, be, you would weigh um, or get the mass of the, in this case, Mg. SO4, we don't know how much hydrate, right? So we'd get the mass of that. Then we would heat, or we would heat it um, to drive off the H2O. We're now gonna cool it and we're gonna get the new mass, we're gonna weigh again, and now what we have is just the MgSO4, right? Because we drove off the water. So now we know the original mass of that, right? And we know the mass of that. So if we subtract those two, we'll end up with the mass of the H2O. All right, so next, we're gonna determine the number of moles of the anhydrous molecule, which in this case is our 
MgSO4 that we figured out. We figured out the mass of that, right? And we're going to figure out the number of moles of the water, which is water, which we also, we just figure out the mass. We just convert that to moles. And then we find the anhydrite mole ratio, the, sorry, we find the water to anhydrite mole ratio to determine the N for H2O. So what do I mean by that? Well, in our example we've been doing, it would be the, the moles of water that we figured out in step three divided by the moles of MgSO4 that we also figured out in step three. Um, we, that needs to be a whole number or close to a whole number. Um, and that number will be our N. Okay, so that's how you do an analysis of a hydrate. So next step is let's just try a problem. Okay, let's try a practice problem. So uh, we're gonna start with an 11.73 gram sample of um, an unknown hydrate. So we know we have cobalt two chloride, we don't know how much water is attached. Um, the sample is then heated to drive off the water. After heating uh, and cooling, our, the mass is 6.410 grams. And now we're speaking that mass is just for the cobalt two chloride. So we want to figure out the hydrates formula. So I'm going to start um, by making a list of everything I know. So I know the, the mass of my hydrate, CO, Cl2, H2O, some H2O, is 11.73 grams. The mass of this, the um, anhydrate copper 2, no, cobalt 2 chloride is 6.410 grams. And I want to know how much water, so that means I need to know the mass of the water. So the mass of our water is going to be the mass of the anhydrous minus or subtracted from the mass of the hydrated molecule, right? So we'll have 11.73 grams minus 6.410 grams, giving us, oh, I hope I do this math right. Let's see, 5.32 grams. All right, so next we need to figure out the number of moles of um, the copper or the cobalt to chloride. So we have 6.410 grams. And we want to know the number of moles. So we'll set up our grid 6.41. For one zero grams over one, and uh, we'll figure out to put on the bottom of our grid. We need to figure out the molar mass of CoCl two, and when I calculated that, I got one twenty nine point eighty three grams CoCl two, one mole. CO, Cl2 on the top. All right, so those cross out. Multiply across the top, across the bottom, and then divide. Um, and at this point, we do when we get our answer, we don't want to round very much because when we get to that mole ratio, it's it it not rounding helps you to get a better answer. Kind of like when we did uh, empirical formulas. Okay, so I got, and I'm going to write the answer up here at the top. Um, so for moles for this one, I got 0 0.04937225 six mole. 
And let's make a little room here and then we can do this again for water. All right, for water, let's see. Um, we have 5.32 grams of water equals X moles. Again, set up our grid. We'll start with 5.32 grams of water over one. And bottom, we need to put the molar mass of water, which is adding up two hydrogens and an oxygen, giving us 18.02 grams. And the top will have one mole of water. These cross out, multiply across the top, across the bottom, and then divide. And I got, I'll write the answer here, I got, oh goodness, 0 0.29522725525 mole. All right, let's make a little room again. So now that we have the moles of both the water and the anhydrous cobalt two chloride, we're gonna do the mole ratio. So we'll have the ratio of water over our cobalt two chloride. So that is going to be, oh goodness, for the water, I guess I'll keep the same colors. We'll have 0 0.29522 moles. And our cobalt two chloride, 0 0.04937225. And when we divide, it's something like five point, whole bunch of nines and other numbers, so basically six. So that now, that six, this six here is our N. So we now know the hydrates formula. CO, Cl2, six H2O. Okay, and in that mess there, we have our final answer. There you go. So um, there's a problem showing how to do analysis of a hydrate. All right, that's it for today. Have a good one.